What's up everyone, Games Apprentice back with another Steam Deck tutorial and this week I'm going to be showing you how to take your Steam Deck from looking like this to looking like this. Now let's face it, without cool graphics and background, things can look pretty boring. <coughs> who among us can possibly make a decision at the ice cream van without seeing the pictures? And who can decide what to watch on YouTube without some idiot in a thumbnail? So here's a two-step guide on how to get images added to your Steam library on your Steam Deck. So this is what my Xbox Game Pass currently looks like. Now there are three different image files that are missing to go from this to this. There's the box art, the icon and the background. So first off, we need to find some images. Press the Steam button on your Steam Deck or hold down the power button and head into desktop mode. Open up a web browser. I'm assuming if you need artwork for something on Steam Deck, if you've got one already or you know how to do so. If you don't, check out the step one in the link at the top. Now you can obtain images from anywhere. If you're creative, you can even make your own, but I'm gonna get them from the very helpful steamgriddb.com. On the site, there's a search box on the homepage. Type in whatever you're looking for on there and hopefully you'll find it. Click where it says any dimensions and you'll see a few options. You need to get one icon from the vertical, which will be the box art, one from horizontal, which will be the background, and one from square, which will be the icon. Untick everything except vertical and select one of the images you like the look of. Click on the download icon in the bottom right of the image. This will open that image, right click on it, and then click save image as. Give it a name, Game Pass Vertical for example, and then click Save. Repeat the process for horizontal and square and make a note of any directory that you save these to. Now we need to add the images to Steam, so still in desktop mode, open up Steam and find the program that you want to add out for. Right click the background and select Set Custom Background. Navigate to the location where you saved your artwork. If it's not there, remove the filter at the bottom. Click on the background artwork and then click open. You should now have a background. Right click again and this time select set custom logo and repeat the process but for the square icon. Next, right click the name of the game or click on the cog icon and go to properties. Click in the little box next to the name and again select the square icon and click open. This makes it display here and also down the left hand side. Lastly, to set the box art, you'll need to go to the recent games section of Steam. If it's not one that you've played recently, it'll be lower down in the all games section. Right click on the blank icon, select manage and then set custom artwork. This time select the vertical icon. Go back to game mode and it should now look like this, with background, box art, more background and an icon. And that's it, ludicrously designed, I've no idea why Valve chose to spread this over three different menus, but that's how you do it. Rinse and repeat and soon you'll have loads of enticing icons like this one. Hopefully this video has been helpful, don't forget to like it if it has and subscribe for more of my Steam Deck content and hopefully I'll catch you next time.